You might remember 30 days ago, uh, Joey, you were here on the show, and I was talking about how I was going to be taking part in the Chatelaine Fresh Start Challenge. So they're sort of motivating people to make a change in their life, whether it be about love, relationships, uh, health. And I said, okay, I'm going to work on taking off this baby weight, which I've been working on since I came home from the hospital. So this is the big check-in. Uh, 30 days later, I've been able to lose eight pounds, which is a big deal for me. Yeah. Huge. I was 164 when you came in. I'm at 156, and my pre-pregnancy weight is 144. People have told me they like me using real numbers, so I use the real numbers. It's great. Um, so I'm almost there. I'm very excited. It's great. And I, of course, have been uh, following your plan, your meal plan, following Ryan Shanahan, who you will see later on uh, in this segment. But I've also had a lot of people following me on Twitter. Which is wonderful. Which is so great. Yes, so I just want to read a couple of the tweets I've been getting. Um, this one is, says, I have to say your updates are really pushing me to get off my butt. I had my baby boy the same day you had your daughter, so I'm also trying to get rid of the baby weight. Another one says, okay, Tracy, I'm working with you. Today is the day. And another, uh, another woman said, work it. You're making me want to set my alarm one hour earlier. So I, I will uh, admit it's tough some mornings when my alarm doesn't go off. I have a newborn, right? Right, right. That so is your alarm. So she's the alarm. Yes, yes. Every two or three hours she goes off. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a big challenge. And what I want to mention to a lot of people who are watching and the moms that are at home, you don't have to lose weight this quickly. I happen to, you know, I see a head-to-toe shot of myself on City Line every day. That's great motivation. I'm like, how do I make my bum go away? So yeah. when I go home, I make a salad, right? But it took you nine months to gain the weight. Give yourself time to take it off. Yes, and I am not all about rapid weight loss. I don't actually right. love rapid weight loss because that's muscle wasting loss. Right. Ladies at home, two to three pounds per week Absolutely. is maximum, maximum. So, yeah. yeah, but you're doing great. You're doing Thank really great. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about something that trips up a lot of people, including myself. Cravings. Cravings. Okay. Why so, do you get them? Well, cravings are blood sugar fluctuations, but okay. what I want to say to people at home and in the audience is it's not a sign that you're weak. People say, oh, I'm so weak, I have a sugar tooth. You're not weak, okay. but your blood sugar is out of control. So if you're craving, the number one thing to do is we need to take a sugar holiday. We just have to get off the refined sugar. That doesn't sound like a fun holiday to me. Well, <laughs> we're going on a sugar holiday. holiday. Add no a sugar. sugar holiday. You can have okay. fruit, you can have cocoa, you can have chocolate protein powder, you can have some dark chocolate. So okay. it's the candy, white flour, white sugar stuff that's going to make the blood sugar fluctuations happen and cause weight gain. It's okay to eat sweet. It's okay to eat chocolate. I eat a little bit of chocolate every single day. Oh, I like that. But if you're crazy, like if every night you have to have something sweet for energy, if right. you're eating for energy, if you're eating because you're sad, you're lonely, you're emotional, you're bored, mm. let's check in a little bit and see how we can break those cravings. And within five days, we're yeah. going to post this on City Line. I'll show you how you can break your cravings. I, can, I will definitely say the more healthy you eat, the more healthy you crave. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff that you know you don't necessarily find yourself wanting once you've gotten those flavors out of your system. But I also want to know the difference between cra being, you know, having a craving and just being a little greedy. Because I think well, for me, I don't, I don't think I crave. I think that I just want the junk because it's there, and I feel like, oh, I want a reward, you know, for being so good. And that's okay because you you shouldn't be following this 100%. You should fall off the health wagon, get back on, fall off, get back on. Right. The craving comes in, the difference between I want a cookie and I'm going to kill somebody for a cookie. A craving you can't control. Right. And when you're in the throes of a craving, yeah. you don't think properly and chances are you're overeating mm. and you eat until, you know that food coma where you think, oh, now why did I do that? I feel I know puffy. It well. you know yes, right. I know that coma very well. But I don't, I don't want to call you greedy, but if you can have a little reward, <laughs> you can. Yeah, well, I won't. You can have that. I yeah. mean, you can have that. I want you to, at this point, I want you to fall off the health wagon. But yeah. there used to be a Sesame Street song that said, anything you can do, I can do better. Right. So I've adapted it to anything you can do unhealthy, yes. I can do healthier. Okay. So we can, that's why I brought these black bean brownies in. We can always because tweak things. this is things. a great cravings buster. It is. No, I first heard about these. I was doing a story for our news division here at City TV, and the nutritionist brought these, and she works with you. So this is your recipe. This is Jamie Langlois' recipe. It's She's Jamie's recipe. And I know a lot of the producers, a couple of the producers were skeptical, but they're yeah. going to try them after. They are delicious. They have black Let's try beans. them now. Why are we going to wait? They have no flour in them. Can mm -hmm. you believe? So they're gluten-free. They're good, guys. They have, I'm they telling you, black they beans really and they're good. good. They're great. They're great. Okay. So we can do this as an alternative for cravings. Eating is just one part of it. The working out, which obviously you do because you look great, Thank is you. another part.